go. Here are the two pieces. I use a pomade and gel on my hair just to really hold my hair together. So what you will do is pretty much take the center of the two pieces and you'll place it in the middle of your two sections of hair. And then you'll start to twist. Now, the idea of the the uh, invisible root, me root method as far as getting your hair intertwined into the twist is pretty much, I'm twisting this side in this direction, you'll pretty much twist this section of your hair in the opposite. Depending on whether you're right or lefty, that will determine how you start twisting your hair. The rule of thumb is to pretty much wherever both both sections of your hair should be opposite should be twisted in opposite so when you're done twisting they both should look like this and then you start twisting them over one another while maintaining the twist how i get it to work for me is that i set a go leaf all the way down so Senegalese twisting pretty much means you won't just twist it around. You would pretty much twist each strand and then wrap it around. It's not your standard twist. You have to twist it and then put it around. Twist it and then put it around. And to me, it stays longer and it's more of a tighter, a tighter, braid or twist and it doesn't come out and to me it just looks neater Hello guys so i am complete with my marley style um i love it i have a strong desire at the moment to put color in my hair and i had a red many years ago maybe like nine ten years ago and i haven't gone back to it since and now that I've been getting the itch to put color in my hair, I just said, you know what, since I've been wanting to try red, why don't I put in some red extensions? I completely forgot how red looked against my complexion and, and with my look. And so I was a little concerned because I try to be a little conservative. I don't know, I just have this strong desire to do red. And so the safest way for me to experiment with color at this point in my journey is through protective styling. I'm not quite committed to a red color, number one, and I'm also not quite committed to color at all. Um, I'm still learning my natural hair. I'm still working on taking care of it and learning what products work for my hair and what products do not. So I am a little skeptical about, um, about color and things like that. So while I'm still going through this phase of figuring it all out, um, we have the luxury of, 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 of testing color and wearing color through protective styling. I recently saw someone do coloring where that, um, pretty much this side, or not this side, but one side of their head was, did not have any uh, color in it, and then the other side did have color in it. And that's pretty much what I did with this style. I do have some red here, but it's, um, is literally just one strand but pretty much every other you know on the other side um, it's pretty much all red uh, now I use two different brands I use the Janet collection for the red and I used batik reggae braid hair they makers of expressions here and I have to say that so far this is my favorite Marley brand hair period the reason why I say that is because it's very fluffy and I know that some people particularly like Marley hair that's softer to deal with I'm actually the contrary like I actually prefer the Marley hair that I deal with and I manage while braiding to be tough or coarse because then for me it's easier to pretty much braid quicker and it's easier for my hair to stick with it it's easier to grasp my hair and intertwine my hair with the braid so I actually prefer a coarser strand if you will uh, the reason why I love it is because with other Marley brown hairs you would need more than one strand or two strands or three strands to achieve your bulkiness for me I typically do my Marley Havana twist thin because then it's easy for me to manipulate it without my hair feeling heavy and bulky for me the 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 bun that's just extra big is just 
Again, I get a little conservative with certain things and the huge bun. It looks great on some people, but it doesn't work for me. When I'm able to do it this thin, I'm able to manipulate it better and put it into buns. I feel like I'm Mufasa from The Lion King when I wear it with like two, three, four strands in one, in one part. Like, I don't like that. That. If you see the weave here, you'll see that the strand, the weave is going this way, which is pretty much counterclockwise. And then you'll have some other strands which will which will go clockwise. I prefer that whatever wise is going, that is going in the same direction. So majority of my braids are going counterclockwise. I prefer it to be this way because in my opinion it just looks more uniformed when the weaves are going the same way. So all of them are going counterclockwise and to me it could be different for the rest of you but to me that just looks neater to me, it looks a little bit more professional in my opinion and that's just the way I prefer it to be. So guys this is the brand that I used for the dark hair. It says Batik Reggae Braid and on the back it says the same thing. And right here is where you see that it says from the same makers of expression and this is how it looks too. This tag is also inclusive on the packaging and I got and this is a color one that I used. And for the red strands, I used the Janet collection. This is their Afro Marley braid. And it says the color is 99J. All four packs that I use cost $4.99 each at my uh, local uh, beauty supply. So that's the information on these braids as far as organization and things like that. As far as how I put this style in, feel free to comment. It's a lot lighter. It's amazing. I am going to try to come back on and give you guys um, styles for the Marley braids. So I hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching. Bye.